I can read you the shortest one. <laughs> this is actually the introduction to um, this is the introduction to um, to another one that I call the tale of a dragon and a tiger, which I'm also playing with the name of your at the time a little bitty, you know. So this is this is just the introduction to that, and, and it's um, it says I love palm trees. Since I was very young, I loved seeing them sway back and forth in the wind. Watching them, I would imagine climbing all the way to the top. I plan to do just that someday. The thought is scary, but I trust myself and what I know of the palm tree. I must do so with my life because I'm afraid I will climb one or two. The risk is scary, but the gain is worth it. And if I fall, I will simply wake up and live again. Cool. Can you tell us your name and what you do? Uh, Hilberto Weisser. I install kitchen appliances. Uh, we do basic installations and full custom installations. I felt I feel like in Belize we have a, a certain pride in our in our culture in our in our education in our family that um, when you when I meet different people and they've told me they've met different people from Belize they tell me that we have the same kind of character personality and it's usually happy and, and, and outgoing so uh, the, our culture is very um, very united with family very united with music um, and very very ambitious to uh, for a better future. I was five years old when my mom came to this country, and uh, it was devastating because when uh, when I the way I discovered that she was leaving, she was already coming down the stairs with her briefcase because she didn't want us to see that we were leaving. She didn't want us to see that she was leaving, and uh, and then uh, for four years being at home without your mother at five years old, it's like it felt like every second was like a lifetime. And I would stand by the by the by the window, and I would watch the airplanes fly, and I would think to myself, you know. Um, Oh, she's about to land, you know, and and then oh, she's probably driving past a certain place, you know, and then she's coming through. She'd be coming, walking through the the, the driveway anytime soon, and then um, and then of course she would she would show up by the end of the day. But I had an aunt who lived with us who would always come up to me and say, "Don't worry," and, you know, she gave me hope. That's why I learned hope. That's why I learned hope from. But uh, because of that, you know, asking, you, you, I hear the stories, right? Uh, they take me to church. And so you ask God to help you, like they say, you ask God to help you. And, and I try talking to him and say, hey, you know, we're like, where's my mom? Bring my mom over. And, and eventually I lost my faith. And eventually I said to myself, you know what? If he's not helping me, then why do I need help yourself and not help you? I said, no, I'll help myself, you know, <laughs> what do I need him? And I remember I was walking home after I was standing in front of like a Home Depot and Lowe's for work. There was nobody behind me, nobody around me. And, and nobody, I tell people I was, um, I say it in Spanish. I don't know if you guys know Spanish. So, so, estaba sobando mis penas. Like I was, I was kind of, kind of, you know, doing this to myself, feeling sorry for myself, right? While I was walking, and then I said, "Geez, you know, who wanted to live and survive through all this?" And I was thinking of all the unfortunate people that actually did kill themselves during that time, during the recession, you know. And I thought, "Wow, yeah, who'd want to live like this?" And I thought, "Man, you know, I'd rather be dead than than living like this." And at the at that exact moment. Somebody hailed me from behind me. It was a little, an old man. He hailed me. He says, "Hey, you know, wait up." He says, "Hold on, wait up for me." Yeah, and and he starts walking towards me, and I wait for him. You know, so we start talking. He says, "Oh, so how's work? How are things?" "Oh, you know, not so good." He says, "Yeah, not so good for me too. I'm a mechanic, and so on and so forth." And he said to me, "He says, if um, he says when there's work, I'll come find you." And I said, "Okay, great." I said, "Awesome." I felt excited, and I told him, "Don't you want my phone number, or my address?" "Oh no, don't worry. I'll find you. I'll come find you." Okay, so are you sure, you know, because I really, you know, I'm just right here, I, like I really wanted another opportunity for work. So he, um, he says, don't worry. You know, I walk up to him, he says, don't worry, I'll find you. I said, okay, thank you. I shook his hand and I said, thanks, and I walked away. And I was walking away, I started reflecting on what the heck just happened, you know, and, and things started to dawn on me. I had kind of come to a, to a conclusion, I was like, his hands felt soft, like a, like a banker's hand, not someone who worked hard, not someone like a mechanic who gets knuckle busters and things like that. And then and I told her, I said, hey, you know what? I had this experience that I think it's, I think it was like God, you know? I had that I, I decided to go to church the next day. And I went to church, but it was closed. <laughs> it was closed. <laughs> 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 right? There you go, that's what I get, right? Yeah, that, it was the funniest thing.
But um, I started to see my life change since then. I actually, work started to trickle, little by little. And let me tell you something, at the time, I only had like $1.29 a day to probably eat, you know what I mean, to, to spend on money to eat. And, um, and so, uh, and I had a family, yeah. yeah. So eventually uh, I, you know, I work started to get better and better and better. And I've always lived my life um, doing the best I can, trying to help everybody I could. You were at the time a little bitty dragon, the beautiful tail of a kite, hanging on to her daddy's shirt so you don't trip, slip, or fall. Are there snakes here, daddy? Yes. Are they poisonous? Yes, they are. What if it bites us? Don't worry, just look before you step and walk only where I have. Are there bears or lions here? Yes, there are. Both black bears and mountain lions. Do they attack and can they eat us? Yes, they can. Uh, what if we see one? We'll keep our distance. What if we come? What if it, if they come towards us? We'll stand together, make a lot of noise, and scare them away. What if they attack? You don't move. You two don't move. I'll engage them. When I do, both of you slowly back away. Don't run. Go and be safe. Find help. What if you die, Daddy? Then I will have done my part. You were a young tiger scaling mountains, sometimes leading the way. Can I go further, Daddy? Yes, you may. How far can I go? As far as I can see you, and you can still hear me. Are you sure, Daddy? Are you? <laughs> mountains, for where, for the first time I remember, mountains, where for the first time I remember you both say, it's beautiful, huh, Daddy? Took the words right out of my heart. And to top it off, you, my tiger, you, you my tiger, saw your lone spirit, and my dragon, you had conquered fear. You both have the courage, I simply helped you find your strength.